Mary C. Bruno is a letterpress printer in St. Joseph, Minnesota. She established Bruno Press in 2004 where she designs and produces a line of greeting cards, custom invitations, business cards, and posters as well as carves linoleum artist prints and broadsides. It was exciting to be selected to judge this exhibition, but it is not as easy as it may seem. Looking at artwork from every different medium takes me back to the basics of aesthetics, design, layout, and skill. This was a difficult process, but I enjoyed working with McCoy and taking his opinions into account as well as my own. I'm impressed with all the work and hope that you are as well. Mary C. Bruno R.C. McCoy is a St. Cloud commercial artist. His business, R.C. Visual Enhancements, was established in 1995 and continues to produce fine art, custom art, and interior exterior design for business, retail, and private patrons. I was honored to be selected as a judge for all the fine artworks included in this wonderful show at Great River Arts. The artist's work submitted was both well thought out and well done. As a judge, it's always hard to decide which piece doesn't make the cut. There were so many great choices to choose from. Mary Bruno and I hope that you enjoy the pieces we did select and take the extra time needed to look at each and every piece. R.C. McCoy. The juried exhibit is a collection of 32 different artists who submitted works that were reviewed by the two jurors, R.C. McCoy and Mary Bruno. Um, we received, I think, 80 plus submissions. Um, so we had to make decisions and eliminate some of the options and let some of the pieces in that we um, thought were high quality. Um, so there were definitely pieces that didn't make the cut, unfortunately, but um, the show that we curated was selected and it kind of, all the pieces fall together and it ended up creating a really nice show. The artists that are represented in the juried show come from all over the state. Uh, we have a pretty good strong base of central Minnesotan artists, but we also have artists that are new to our space. Um, one student who um, has three pieces in the show is a student up in Fargo, but he lives in Moorhead and he grew up there. And so that's kind of the furthest. And then we have um, people all the way down a few from the suburbs down um, by Minneapolis and St. Paul. Um, and we've got people from up north in the backwoods areas as well. So there's, they're from really all over the state.
and the guy just talked to him. This is uh, really cool.
Artist Point. That's where, that's this picture right here. It's one of the big ones. I haven't painted this large in uh, forever, in over 30 years. Um, I've been recently up in Grand Marais for a two week residency and um, was able to paint at a size I'm not used to. I love ink. I love drawing in ink. And this is actually the first time um, since I've been doing ink drawings for maybe six years um, that I've used color behind them and, uh, and this large. So it was a good, very good experience. Um, there are two others here, two other illus illustrations or drawings here that are more about ink. I like pictures that have an abstraction to them. I like how you can come up close and enjoy the marks and then step back and see the picture and it keeps abs going abstract and then representational and abstract and representational. I like how it explodes and then comes back into becoming a picture again. I ve very much enjoy that. The mark is very important to me and I spend, um, oddly, I spend a lot of time just walking around the picture until I make a couple marks and um, then I clean my brushes and make a couple more marks um, to keep it fresh, to, keep it look, to make it look like I did it in five minutes. Um, when I did this picture, I did four of them. Um, three smaller ones and this larger one of the same subject. Um, so I would do all the color first, gold, the, this red color and the blue color. I do those things sort of first and then I go over with the line, the line work or the mark making. I really love the North Shore um, and I've spent a lot of time at Jay Cook just outside of Duluth. Um, beautiful park. I love the way natural these jutting rocks and these, uh, these forests and these lichens and um, these forces fight against each other graphically. I just love it. Um, when I'm sitting in Jay Cook, I like the idea of these geological events happening. You'll see a stone in the middle of the, a just enormous stone in the middle of a stream. Well, one day it had to fall from something and land there. And I wish I would have been there for that event. Um, so if I keep going, maybe something cool like that will happen. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank um, Great River Arts for this opportunity. And uh, it's a marvelous show. I hope you all come and see it.